do find yourself here again, he's talking about common positions. This is another one because I call it that. You'll be out here very often. So, what I'm doing here is I want my chest like right above his neck. And I want my, my pressure's into him, guys. Like, I'm not sitting on my knees because then, you know, he can peek out and do all sorts of stuff from there. So, I want my weight on him. I want to be pressuring him. And then I want this elbow to the mat. So, I'm pressuring in so I get pressure back. And then I'm, I like to go, you can go front head or double tricep, arm pit, whatever. Yeah, you know, I work from both. So I'm gonna pressure in, and then I'm gonna come snap his elbow to the mat. Now I'll hit my knees here for a second, but then I'm back up. I want, I'm gonna move, I'm keeping this pressure on his shoulder, and my hips are coming up right above his shoulder. So here, call you. try to get your arm up and then you up. Makes it extremely difficult for him to, Cut me off here. Again, I'm in here, I'm in here, pressuring, pressuring, I'm moving the elbow. I immediately am getting this angle and I'm putting that pressure down on my shoulder with my hips. And guys, I'm not like leaning over. My hips are in and my, my chest is up again. And now from here, I can either keep this chin and go hamstring or ankle, uh, but you're basically it's just go behind from here. You just keep running it, keep running, chase the hamstring. It might take a couple times for him to hit his elbow too, because we got. So you can always hang your hair, brush your hand. Oh, you don't get it. He comes back up. You don't get it. Eventually you'll you'll get that angle. And then like try to circle with me. He's not able to get that far up. You just keep chasing that angle with the hamstring and wait on his head. Any questions? Anybody need to see it again? Just what Collier wanted to see, that hand go up. <laughs> here, pressure and in. Either double tricep here, my hips are in. That elbow, I'm immediately kind of posting on this tricep too, guys. I'm posting here as I move. I keep that weight. My weight's never off here once his elbow hits the mat. And then I transfer my weight to my hips. My hips are in, and all that weight's on that shoulder. You can't get that arm off to cut me off. And then Alright, everybody got it? I'll be around to help you guys with that now. I've seen a lot. Like, it took me a while to get this. Some kids will get to the point where they get that elbow down and they're here and they'll have the chest up here and it doesn't have that same pressure. You need to have your hips up on that sho